All right, Drew, so what, what was the deal this morning? You come here at 530, what? Tonight here live at 10 o'clock in this Friday, digging deeper. Was it a case of police brutality or a case of last resort for law enforcement? Body cam footage of an altercation between a man from Maquoketa and local law enforcement may shed light on a wrongful death lawsuit which has been filed. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ron Steele. And I'm Abby Turpin. Thank you for joining us. You will see in just a few minutes here some of the body cam video, which has been released by a lawyer for the family of Drew Edwards. But we do want to warn you first, some of the images might be disturbing. Now, the Edwards family says they want the public to see exactly what happened June 15th of last year. That morning, law enforcement says they attempted to place Drew Edwards under arrest in Maquoketa for simple assault. Well, there was a struggle, and a taser was used on Edwards several times. KWWL's Taylor Vessel and Colin Dorsey filed this report for us. The video runs just over 48 minutes. Now, we won't be showing the moment of Edwards' death, but the video is difficult to watch. Sadly, this is the end of a man's life. First responders surrounding 22-year-old Drew Edwards after a lengthy altercation with police in which Edwards is tased multiple times. Going back, body cam footage provided by an attorney for Edwards' family shows the events that happened prior. Jackson County Sheriff's deputies arrived for a call of an assault. This is what we have to do out here. The judge is the one that decides. Deputies say they're taking Edwards in. Things start calmly with what seems like a normal rapport between Edwards and police. Almost lighthearted at times, but indicating a past history with the officers. You and I have always been straight. I've never treated you wrong and I never will. For roughly 13 minutes, they go back and forth, asking Edwards to come peacefully. Then Deputy Mike Owens appears frustrated, saying he didn't want to fight. When that doesn't work... All right, Drew, down on the damn ground! For almost two more minutes, they try to persuade the young man before he's tased for the first time. What's meant to subdue him only drops him to the ground momentarily. Edwards then takes off, the leads Down. of the taser still on him. Down, damn it. Edwards continues to resist, Down. and they okay. deliver a now second taser shot. Ten more minutes go by in which police work to cuff Edwards. Down. He continues to struggle. Tease they tase him four more times in the process. Then his breathing becomes labor. As they call for backup, Edwards continues to grunt and struggle. Settle down. The officer's tone changes, asking Edwards to breathe before turning him over to discover him unresponsive. That's where we've chosen to stop the video because of the sensitive nature of what happens next. Edwards clearly in distress as the officers call paramedics over. Reports following the incident state the autopsy determined Edwards died of a heart attack and that he had meth, ecstasy, and marijuana in his system. The circumstances surrounding what you just saw prompted a wrongful death lawsuit. It names the Jackson County Chief Deputy, the Maquoketa Police Chief, and Assistant Chief as key defendants. The family is suing on the grounds of excessive force, although the officers involved were later cleared of any wrongdoing in the eyes of the county. Drew, come on. The 25-page lawsuit claims law enforcement used excessive force against Drew Edwards in June 2019, resulting in his death. Dave O'Brien is the attorney representing the family and says, while Edwards had a prior history with law enforcement, it should have never gone as far as it did. Well, the police acted very appropriately initially, right up to the point where they didn't act very appropriately anymore. And I draw the line at using the taser at all because of his known history. The lawsuit alleges a taser never should have been used, stating Edwards had prior medical issues after being tased in two previous incidents. O'Brien says he and the family acknowledge Edwards' drug use at the time, but adds law enforcement knew about his impairment as well. They're, they're aware of his shortcomings, um, and they understand how that plays a role, um, but so did the police and, and the law enforcement that were there. Uh, if they had called for backup, if they had not tased him the last three times, if they had not tased at all, they hadn't sat on it as long. The lawsuit also alleges the city of Maquoketa violated records law by refusing to release the video of the incident in an attempt to cover up what happened. Uh, and then we filed the uh, lawsuit in October. The, the video was provided to us as part of discovery in the lawsuit. The lawyer we spoke with says he is still trying to get the data from the taser used as part of their case. And by the way, KWL News did reach out to the city of Makoka to try to get a comment today publicly. We're actually referred to an attorney's office in the city of Des Moines. But we have not received a response. And you can review the lawsuit yourself if you'd like to. Just visit our website, kwwl.com.